Let's not forget that my grandmother is giving out coupons for a famous roast beef sandwich yeah. for everyone who gets tested. And they're all going to get free cookies, so we're going to have longer lines in Star Wars, I'm telling you. <laughs> my mind's just going at warp speed trying to make sense of everything. How did you manage to get so much paint on yourself? Well, when I try to make myself stop worrying about Chloe, I just I start thinking about those aliens. Okay, if I were going to take a break from thinking about that. Oh, remember? yeah, that's really easy, especially now that Maggie and Julie have both seen them. Yeah, well, we don't know that. Sean, what two other young people would be running around Salem Place nearly naked? You know that is not a coincidence. And I just, I can't stop thinking about those kids or whatever they were. Especially when... When what? When everything we know could be about to change. Yeah, but it's not like we haven't had that feeling before in our lives. And things can't be familiar or be settled again. Just looking at you right now, it reminds me to have faith. As long as we have each other, things can be right again. Sodas. Thank you. Oh, okay, back to work. What were you and Sean gabbing about? More alien sightings? Thanks for being sensitive memes and making a joke about it. Oh, come on, Belle. How can you expect us not to be curious? I mean, after what you and Sean told us before, let's... Philip, curious? I don't mind. I just don't appreciate people making fun of us, that's all. What is it, Belle? Something else happened, didn't it? According to your mom, you and Belle are backing off on that whole alien thing. Oh, even at work, it's hard to take it seriously, aliens. I mean, just when someone says it, you automatically assume that they're nuts. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not assuming anything. You're a smart, level-headed kid, most of the time. I respect you. That's why it threw me. What are you talking about? Well, what you saw the other night, or what you think you saw. You gave a different story to the government inspectors than what you told me and your mom. So what gives? All right, guys, I'm going to get some more paint out of my car. I'll be back in a second. Okay. You know what, Dad? Belle and I were thinking about it after we had a chance to calm down from the meteor showers, and it turns out that you were right. It is a lover's lane up there, and so Belle and I probably just saw another couple that was almost naked, and they were just as freaked out about the meteors coming down as we were, and so they ran. That's not what you told Agent Spectre. Yeah, because we were afraid he'd think we were nuts. I mean, that's what people think when you tell them stuff like that. Anyways, why is it such a hot topic? There hasn't been any other sightings, have there? You haven't seen the intruder? No. Salem's been invaded by one-eyed aliens with talking purple polka dots. Kidding. <laughs> but no other reports of naked teenage aliens. Oh, well, that's a relief now, isn't it? Turns out Bell and I were original. Actually, we know less about the science of human relationship until we know about outer space. Don't let Kevin's calm exterior fool you. He's petrified that aliens are going to take over the world and we'll all be doomed. You can relax, Kevin. Whatever it is that Sean and I did see seemed pretty harmless. Yeah, but words are just the first to arrive. Think about it. They could be out there right now waiting for the mothership to land. <laughs> Was your dad grilling you before? Yeah, he was upset because we didn't tell the inspector what he, you know, we told him, my mom, and your folks. I explained why he seemed okay with it. Did he say if anything similar was reported? No, no, nothing. Nowhere. I checked the net. Nobody saw any naked teenage aliens. Apparently we're in a very small minority. <laughs> why can't I shake this feeling, Sean? I want so badly for them to be real. Thank <laughs> you. 
cop won't mind me stealing the last couple pieces of apple pie. Parents love making sacrifices for their children. This will make you really happy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good night, sweetheart. Night, night. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, who's out there? You all right? Uh, what's going on? I was, I was in the back room and I, I heard somebody break in the door. A couple of kids, they're gone. Oh, it's not a big deal. I mean, all they took was a half-drunk bottle of wine. <laughs> you must have spooked them a bunch before they, they can steal anything else. Yeah. Kids, <laughs> the more they change, the more they stay the same. Okay, Pop. Right. Thanks for the pie. Oh yeah. Right. Right. Hey. Hey. Hi. I really appreciate you meeting me. I thought maybe we could grab a cup of coffee and talk about those star-struck kids of ours. Well, Bill got home very late last night and was going at the crack of dawn. Yeah, so was Sean. Wait a minute. Come to think of it, I thought I heard the truck rev up early this morning, but I was so exhausted with Zach that it... Well, they're determined to find these extraterrestrials they thought they met during the media shower. Hmm. Well, what do you say? We track them down and bring them back to Earth. Come on, let's go find them. Top just as the sun was rising. We were hoping the aliens would come back after Agent Spectre cleared out with his people. Sean, I had a dream that they did come back. And they tried to take us with them to their home world, and they had these two humongous guys with them, and they wanted to abduct us. It was horrible. Hey. It didn't happen. It just seemed so real. But it wasn't like the other night, was it? I mean, the aliens, they weren't cool. They seem sweet and innocent, just like Zack. They never hurt anyone. Oh my God, Sean, it's them. Who's there? Did you hear that? Oh, oh Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi. Are you okay? We're so worried about yeah, you. Yeah, we're fine. You just scared us, that's all. Hmm, sorry. Oh, honey, we're sorry. You Hope and I were just wondering if... We were just wondering if, if you'd they'd like, like to join us for, for breakfast. breakfast. Oh, Salem Place? No, that's okay. I'm not really hungry. Yeah, yeah me neither. Uh, not right now. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> are you like with your search? Yeah, 
funny. Let's look at the search. Actually, you're laughing at funny. us. We That's stopped funny. searching. <laughs> really? We stopped searching. Yeah, Bella and I were thinking about it, and we, we kind of figured out that the whole thing, aliens, never really happened. Oh, are you saying that because you think that's what we'd like to hear? No, no, no. The meteor shower is just so beautiful and scary at the same time that we were thinking we just fell asleep and dreamed the rest. Oh, and you <laughs> had the same dream, huh? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that does sound kind of bizarre, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Kind of bizarre. Okay, all right. Well, maybe it wasn't a dream. Maybe it was just too kids who were playing some elaborate prank on us, making us believe that they were aliens and gullible us. We fell for it. We feel really dumb about all of it now, so yeah. we're sorry if we upset you. Upset? No, we're not upset. Do we look upset? We're not upset. No, but you know what? <laughs> you look like you're still upset. No, no, Mom, I'm fine. I really am okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I actually, I'm really glad the whole thing is over and it's behind us. I mean, aliens, come on. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Mm. Promise you're not going to razz us too much? Mom. Oh, no. Mother. Mother! Did they take up in the spaceship, honey? No, Mom, they, they did. did. They did. Did they have four heads? Oh, why do I want to ask? <laughs> yeah, okay, what do you say? Yeah. Can I grab some breakfast? No, we really do have to go meet Mimi and the gang. Yeah, in time for Chloe's film, they are trash. Oh. You know what? I'm so proud of you both for that. Such good work. So... You're off the hook. Thank you. Completely okay. off the hook. Just promise us that you won't talk to any little green men with big eyeballs and all their foreheads. Yeah, as yeah. long as they have the, the eyeball, you stay away yeah. from them. We're going to go and have uh, breakfast on Earth. On Earth. Bye, you two. Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. Sean, I am so sorry. I almost blew it. Blew what? Well, we made an agreement, you know? Lie to our parents, lie to the government, lie to everyone. Tell them we imagine the aliens. That way no one would hunt them down, lock them up, and do icky science experiments on them. Well, you did have to grab Mimi and the Chloe hey, and... Hey, they want to protect the aliens just as much as we do. Oh, I really hate lying to my mom. Well, what if it isn't lie? Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives.